Hey everyone, welcome to Artishals Art. My name is Shilpa and I am also known as Artishals on the internet and I am the content creator at the blog www.artishals.com and I am the founder of the online art school at www.artishalsartacademy.com a place where you can learn more about drawing and painting by taking various classes and workshops so let's get started with today's video so in this video we are going to watch the complete process of how i paint this painting from start to finish while i even talk to you about a question that was asked by one of my viewers and subscribers and what his question is we will discuss that further but first let's look at all the materials that i used to paint this painting so first i used this white gesso by daler and rowney as a substitute for white acrylic paint and second i have this beautiful winsor and newton crimson red and next i used this bright lemon yellow at a few places and then i have this deep turquoise once again by winsor and newton and all these paints i use just with water and no mediums or nothing at all for the brushes i just use these two round brushes this one angular brush right here and this filbert hair brush which looks quite old but it works for me so i used these for the brushes and then i used these three pencil colors two shades of dark blue and one dark red at a few places to give shading and then i used this signo white gel pen at some places to give highlights and last but not the least for the paper i used this canson mixed media imagine paper in a4 size so these are just a few materials that i will be using to paint this painting and this painting is a part of monthly painting classes at artichals art academy which you can know more about by clicking the link in the description but for now let's go ahead and read a question asked by a person called monday to friday that's the username of that person so i don't know the real name so let's refer to him as monday to friday so what monday to friday has to say is you told us that you used to do drawing during your school days so how did you become so professional up to this level was it watching and learning from other youtube videos I want to be an excellent abstract professional painter somewhat like Voka Art on YouTube. Please guide me on how to reach up to that level. Um that's a really great question by the way Monday to Friday and Voka Art is one of my favorites too. He were he has been one of my inspirations as well. So I absolutely love him. And I think that your question will be helpful to many others as well. because all of us at some point you know go through this situation or this question in our life so let's once again get to your question and one by one i will reply to each part of your question so first you said that you told us that you used to do drawing during your school days yes you are right i have always been drawing ever since i was a small kid and next you say so how did you become a professional up to this level So how did I become a professional up to this level? So first of all according to me I am nowhere even close to the level I would like to be but I I have a really long way to go but even to reach this level it has been nothing else but working continuously with my art and continuously trying out different things and moving forward with what I want without giving up at all. art as a professional is not easy at all you know there have been days where the times have been so difficult there have been days when you know nothing is happening with my art so to reach any level of professionalism you just need to constantly keep working on it and never ever give up for example if you want to be a professional doctor so you will have to find out the step by step process of how to be a professional doctor the number of marks that you need in your high school to be able to attend or join the professional college to become a doctor find out about the amount of hard work you will have to put in there and then after getting the degree from that college what next steps you have to take to become that professional doctor so this is the process you will find out and just follow the process to be that professional similarly for me i used to 
draw and paint a lot when I was a kid. So my mom saw that potential in me and it was her vision that I would do great with my art or if I was in a painting career. So she was the one who made me apply in the art college and made me join that college. And after getting my fine arts degree from there, I moved on to finding about how other people were working. Yes, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos as well. I would read a lot of interviews of the other artists and I have tried different things like I have tried showcasing in galleries I have tried selling paintings online after that I just tried various things and uh, as you know I make YouTube videos I do a lot of things and I and it has been so many years that I have been doing this and and you know just not giving up and step by step finding my way towards here has brought me where I am right now but of course the level that I would like to be with my art or my art career is way higher is way ahead than where I am right now so what I will do is I will just take those steps towards where I want to reach. I will continue taking those steps without stopping or without giving up at all. And since in my head, I have a clear vision of where I want to reach next, which is my next level I want to be at. I will find out the steps that I will have to take and just follow the steps to be at that level. And then you said that was it watching and learning from YouTube videos? Yes, YouTube has been a big part of my life. Watching and uh, learning from other YouTube videos has been a kind of very motivating and inspiring. But that is not the only platform that I learned from. When I was in India, I had a magazine called Art India magazine delivered at my home. So that was a great uh, help. There are so many blogs that are a great help. And I love watching the interviews of other people and other artists and other business people. And then there is so much content you can uh, find out by Googling as well. Like Google is a big source, like how to join this college, how to do this, how to do that. Everything you can find on Google, all the stuff steps just find out the steps and how to take those steps you can find everything on google and then you said that i want to be an excellent abstract professional like voca art on youtube how to reach up to that level so as i said earlier if you want to be an excellent professional abstract artist like voca you just have to check at what level your art is right now and according to the level that your art is right now, find out about the steps, about the hard work that you will have to put in to get to the level of art what, what Walker is on. Like Walker, when he draws his portrait, I think he's excellent with the judging of proportions of where each and everything will go, judging of how the face should be. He's so excellent at that, that I think he doesn't even have to think it comes very naturally to him when he sits and draws the face. So when you sit and draw the face, look at at what level you are at right now and then find out how harder you have to work to get to the level of Voka and then work hard practice 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 and don't give up so that is the only way you can reach that level and if you are talking about how you will be able to reach the professional level of Voka see every artist or everybody who has a professional has a journey they went through and then step by step grow professionally so in short I am just trying to say that to be from one level to another level you just have to find the steps that you have to take to reach the other level and just believe that nothing is impossible if you really want something you can get that you can be there if somebody else has already done that you can do that too nothing at all is impossible it just needs focus it just 
needs hard work so i would like to end the video over here i hope you enjoyed this painting i hope you enjoyed the process so if you would like to learn how to draw a pain in a much more detailed way and in a really encouraging and motivating atmosphere with my personal guidance then don't forget to enroll in one of the classes at www.artishalsartacademy.com and don't forget to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with somebody you think that this video will be helpful for and to subscribe to this channel and my newsletters if you haven't already the link to artichals art newsletters and all the benefits that you will get by joining those newsletters will be right there in the down bar so till i see you next time bye and happy creating bye